All right, I had to talk about this big win for the Miami Heat against the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, I'm going to break down their series, so check out for that video. That should be up uh, shortly uh, with the Knicks. But, man, what a game from Jimmy Butler. What a game from Kevin Love. What a game from Game Fizzin. Uh, You know, all year, Boston Celtic fans in particular, Mike Shore and Bill Simmons, said they did not want to play the Miami Heat because these are the type of performances that they have in them. They're just a zombie team that does not go away, that scraps, that fights. Um, I think that in this series, just in general, Miami had a lot of DNA of series past with Giannis and building walls and things of that nature. So I'm going to talk about uh, the Miami Heat more uh, down the road, but Jimmy Butler, I mean, Jesus, I mean, there's – 82 game players and there's 16 game players and uh Draymond said the best and he's a 16 game player monster um as uh we progress in the playoffs I think they actually match up really well uh, with the Knicks and I'll break that down but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Bucks. they're in a very precarious situation you have a situation where um <clears throat> Chris Middleton is a free agent uh, you have a situation where Crew Holiday is getting up there in age, Brook Lopez is getting up there in age, uh, and Giannis is squarely in his prime uh, with the new NBA tax structure, um, with the facts that they traded a lot of their picks to get Crew Holiday. Um, they might be in some trouble going forward. Um, Chris Middleton is coming off a couple of knee injuries, and you know maybe he gets better in the offseason, but he just didn't look like he had the pop. Um, that they had before, you know, the bread and butter that led them to get the title versus the Suns was this pick and roll offense involving Chris Middleton and Giannis, and we just didn't see it. And I'll be remiss to say, you know, a lot of this has to go squarely on Giannis's shoulders. He missed uh, 13 free throws. Um, <clears throat> he didn't look comfortable all game. He looked like he was hot potatoing the ball. He looked like he was scared to come get the ball on multiple com- uh, occasions. Uh, there was that play at the end of the uh, regulation where, you know, he batted the ball and luckily Chris Middleton saved it. But it just set a bad tone to me that he didn't want the ball. Obviously, he was struggling from the free throw line, so he didn't want to get fouled. But I think that kind of reverberates through your whole team. You remember that game, the 50 piece that he dropped um, versus the Suns to win the title. I think he made like, you know, 19 of 20 free throws. So going forward, I think, especially if Milton's slowing down, it's going to be incumbent on Giannis to have and half court offense. You know, that riddle seemed to be solved because they could run him and Chris Middleton pick and roll and he could be more of a roller diver. But now where this, he's going to actually have to carry a bigger load, I believe, on offense, I think that's an issue. I mean, you have a, a guy like Crowder. I mean, he did all that crying to leave Phoenix and he's not even on the floor. Uh, they don't have that much young talent. I mean, I think Grayson Allen would be – the most that you can consider in that quote unquote young talent they had, nor will, will they let go. So um, there's some serious, serious questions for the Bucks going into the off season. Uh, real, real questions. Uh, this is uh, heartbreaking for them. I mean, they had been talking a lot, a lot more in particular Giannis, you know, really strutting around talking about he's the best player in the league. He should have won multiple MVPs and, you know, this, that, and the third, and to lose in the first round with the payroll that they have, with the questions that I'm just laid out for you going into the offseason, that's not the greatest thing. But shout out to the Miami Heat. Uh, I'm going to be dropping a pod breaking down their uh, series versus the Knicks, but I think a lot of this series and this series win goes to, one, their familiarity with Giannis. I know he missed those games. I'd be remiss not to mention that he missed those, uh, I believe it was the first three games, but, the, you know, they got a split uh, in Milwaukee and lost one. You know, he played in the last two. I think it was a familiarity with, with him, the fact that uh, guys made shots. You know, that's going to be uh, a flagpole going into the next series from the three-point line. And I think, bam, he actually stepped up to the challenge defensively. Uh, and Kevin Love, what an addition. The Cavs could have used him. So shout out to Miami. Uh, Look for that video to go up soon. And that's it. Uh, Leave me a comment, subscribe. And as always, the game is the game.